Hello, hope you're doing good. I'm your host Jason. In this video, I will be showing you how to use Canva to sell on Amazon. There are numerous products that you can create on Canva to sell on Amazon, even on the Canva free plan. So all you will need to do is go onto canva.com and from there you can create an account using your email address. For example, if we were to go onto Amazon and let's say for example we were to search up journal you can see a journal right here journal for a woman and this is a simple journal all you'll see right here if for example we were to open it all you'll see is just some plain pages as you can see right there i will be showing you how to create a journal like this another example that you can also use for example let's say this low content book so you can use canva to also create coloring books or you can use them to create overall low content books that you can sell on amazon as you can see right here all you'll need to do once you have created your canva account so let's say for example we would like to create a journal you'll simply tap on the search bar right here and from here you could type in journals so let's do that real quick so after typing in journals, the first thing you could do is create your journal cover. So you could tap on journal cover right there, or you could select journal from this section. After selecting journal, you'll be redirected to a new page on which you'll see numerous templates that you can choose from. Keep in, right, keep in mind that you have access to use all of these templates without any issues, so you won't buck up on any copyright problems or so on. But since I want to speed up this tutorial and I don't want to dry it out, I won't be creating one from scratch. Instead, I will be using one of these pre-made templates. So I'm just going to select this template. Then from here, you could tap on customize this template. After you have selected customize this template, you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you could change the background color of the template if you want by simply selecting the entire page. And then from there, you could go over to the top left-hand corner and tap on Edit Photo. After tapping on Edit Photo, you could change the background filter and so on if you want. You can also change each text section by simply tapping on it. You could type in whatever text you want or so on that you would like to add to your journal. And if it is a case that you'd like to create more pages, you can do that. So for example, you could tap on add page at the bottom of the page right there. Then you could go over to the left hand menu option. And let's say, for example, you would like to use this page, for example, or you could scroll down and use some other example pages. So for example, we could tap on all results right there. And then from there, let's say you would like to use this page, you could add this page. And then from there, you can continue duplicating this page. And that's it. All you'll need to do after you have done this is create a cover. And to create the cover is quite easy. For example, we could tap on add page, then go over to the left hand menu option. Then from there, we could tap right where you see the search bar and you could type in journal cover. So let's do that real quick. So you can see right here journal book cover after you have done that you can see numerous templates that you can choose from so let's say for example we were to select this one I bet you this one right here all you'll need to do is tap on it after you have done that you could make changes so for example I'll change the name right here so I'm going to type in simple answers After you're finished, you'll simply go over to the top right hand corner and you're going to tap on share. After tapping on share, you're going to tap on download. Once you have selected download, what I want you to do next is you're going to download the book cover first. So you're going to tap right where you see file type. And from there, you could select PDF standard or you could select PDF print. So I'm going to select PDF print, for example. Then from there, I'm going to select page five, since that is the journal book cover. So we're going to select page five. So I'll do that right there. 
then tap on download once it has been downloaded all you will need to do now we are going to go back and we are going to tap right here download a free watermark so we are going to simply go onto our dashboard once more Once it has been downloaded, what I want you to do is open up a new tab and you're going to go on to kdp.amazon.com. From here, you'll be able to create an account using your Amazon sign-in. Once you have created your account, you'll be redirected to a dashboard just like this. Once on this dashboard, all you'll need to do is tap on create and you can scroll down if I were to scroll down right here you can see examples of books that I've uploaded just like this. And with these examples, once you have uploaded it, you can choose whether you'd like to create a paperback book or you'd like to create an hardcover book, as you can see right here. Now to upload it, all you'll need to do is tap on create. After you have tapped on create, as I was saying earlier, you can see the different options that you have. So you can choose whether you'd like to upload a Kindle ebook a paperback book, an hardcover book, or you'd like to make a series page. So for example, let's say we would like to make a Kindle ebook. You will simply tap on Kindle ebook. Then from there, you could type in the title. So let's say, for example, test journal. So we're going to do that real quick. After doing that, you're going to scroll down. And if it was a series, you would simply enter add series details right there. You can also add the author's name right here. So let me do that real quick. I'll add my name right there. After you have done that, if you had any contributors, you would simply add that information. Then you're going to add a quick description right here. This is a journal. Then you can scroll down. I own the copyright. After doing that, if it has in any sexual explicit images, you can select it right there. So I'll tap on no. Then from there, you will scroll down. You can also select the primary marketplace that you would like to target. So for example, if you would like to post this in different Amazon, for example, let's say Amazon UK instead of the Amazon.com, you could do that. You can also choose the category. So I could tap on category right there. And you could select the category that you want it to be placed in after doing that you can scroll down and you could add keywords right there once you are finished you're going to tap on save and continue at the bottom of the page after tapping on save and continue you will be redirected to this page and from here the first thing we're going to be doing is uploading our cover so you can see right here upload a cover that you already have so you can see the format is JPG. So that means that I'm going to have to download that book cover once more. So I'm going to go back into Canva and I'm going to tap on share right here. Then I'm going to tap on download once more. And you can see right there, PNG, we are going to select JPG. Then I'll select page five once more. So let me do that real quick. And you can see the book cover right there. And to download the other pages, all you'll need to do now, you'll tap on share once more. Then from there, you're going to tap on download and you're going to change from PNG and you're going to select PDF print. After selecting PDF print, from here, we're going to select the other four pages. So we're going to untick page five. So let's do that real quick. So all we'll need to do is untick page five and then from there, we will be good. So let me do that real quick. After you have downloaded the pages, all you'll need to do now, you can tap right here, upload cover, then tap on upload cover. And from there, you will simply add the book cover that you had downloaded. So let me do that real quick. You can see it right here. So I'll simply select it, then tap on upload. And you can see that it is being uploaded. After doing that, to upload the content of your ebook, all you'll need to do is tap on Upload Manuscript. Then after selecting Upload Manuscript, from there you can select the book. 
So for example, you can see the book right here. So let me select it real quick. Once it has been uploaded successfully, you could scroll down and from there you can simply tick the boxes right here and continue filling in the information. After you're finished filling in the information, you'll simply tap on save and continue in the bottom right hand corner and you can see it is preparing our files. After the file has been prepared, you'll simply set up the pricing and from there you'll now be able to list your book on Amazon KDP. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.